you found some gold normally associated with quartz. So you follow your quartz vein uh, that you found some gold in it. This is some quartz right here with some actual gold in it. Now that's nice and it's pretty but you got to get the rock and the gold separated. So that's what this does. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. They, they, uh, they, you, you dig out your ore, and for this mine, you, you have to crush it down to the size of, uh, you can see some of the gravel, kind of size sitting over here. You have to crush it down, and at this mill, uh, this is just a small operation, so they actually use a sledgehammer to get it down to small pieces. And then at that point, when they had enough ore that was ready to be processed, they'd run the stamp mill. This over here is the steam engine. You gotta stoke the fire and it creates steam. It comes over here and runs this little engine. It's about a, a four horsepower. And uh, that in turn turns this belt that uh, 
picks up the stamps. The stamp okay, is just that little rod, and it weighs about 750 pounds. So it picks it up, and then it drops it. Boom. And it crushes the rock. So that goes back and forth, and what they do is you have to run water in there to kind of create like, like a washing machine action in there. And every time that the, the stamp comes down and hits the metal shoe below it, uh, any rock in between gets crushed. And so you start with rock like this, and you end up with sand like this. Oh, wow. Wow. Now, this, uh, this plate right here in front would be a copper plate. This actually is a copper plate that we plated with nickel, so that it would look like what they did. But it would be a copper plate that they would cover with liquid mercury. Now mercury, you might know, is poisonous. But it has a couple of really unique factors. Uh, it sticks to copper. So you can paint this liquid on there, which we have somewhere on there. This is metal, but it's liquid. And uh, you'd paint that onto the copper, and it would stick to it. And even though the water's coming over, and the sand with the gravel and the gold and everything else coming down, the, the mercury wouldn't wash off. It's stuck to that copper. But the other thing that mercury does is it likes gold. So any gold that's been crushed out of the rock would stick to the mercury, and all the other stuff just washes off. When the mercury gets full enough, it's with gold, you'd stop the process, you'd squeegee it off, and uh, you'd put it into a little retort here, and you'd cook it up. And put it up to about uh, eight, 900 degrees, and mercury vaporizes. And so under the pressure, it comes out the tube here, and you keep this rag wet, so that as the vapor comes out, it cools down below its point, and turn back into liquid, you'd catch it or use it. Uh, Afterwards, when you got all that mercury out of there, you have what they call a gold sponge in here. Look kind of like a sponge because the gold hasn't melted. It's just kind of all kind of congealed in there, all the bits and pieces. And so what they do is they take it out of there and they put it into uh, a graphite crucible. But they would then put it into a furnace. We have a little furnace sitting over there. They uh, heat it up to about 2,000 degrees, and at that point, the gold would melt. All the impurities would come to the surface, and then you could flux the, the impurities off, and you'd end up with pure gold. At that point, then you would pour it into your mold. It's just pure gold there. So they, at this mine, operated with a 27 ounce. And so, here, you want to take the gold? There you go. Wow. That's cool, huh? Now, Why is it like tea looks well, because that's kind of, it's not really gold. It's <laughs> not. It's just to show you about what it, the size it could be. Yeah. If it was real gold, we'd all be in Hawaii right now. <laughs> now, back when they ran this mine originally, gold gold prices were about $15 an ounce. So that 27 ounces would be about $400. Anybody know what the price of gold is today? $1,500. A little over $1,500, give or take. So at fifteen hundred dollars an ounce, that little piece of gold would be forty thousand dollars. So you know, if you can find some some ore, it's pretty good. So really, the stamp mill is just all about how to extract the gold out of the rock, crushes it, and uh, we'll, we'll run it and show you what it looks like. All right.